G'day everybody, welcome back to Dinkum on episode 152, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see, yesterday I got myself a bit of a haircut and a nice shave, so we're looking very snappy right now, uh, gotten out of all of the Christmas gear, and yeah, we're slowly, slowly getting back into the uh, normal stuff that we do in this game. Uh, considering that we've been busy doing most of the festive stuff in the last week or maybe even longer. But uh, anyway, I have noticed here that we're getting, what, three big chicken eggs now. That is a problem. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so Ed's uh, almost maxed out uh, his uh, relationship with us. That is not great. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that we could keep him to make the small eggs, but uh, that didn't last, did it? <laughs> um, someone was sort of saying, oh, you can sell your chickens and, um, you know, get another one to continue making small eggs. I'm not entirely sure I like that idea because I consider all of my animals uh, to be sort of part of the family, if that makes sense. Um, but I don't know, I'm starting to warm up to that idea now. <laughs> because um, Otherwise, I'm going to have to get another chicken uh, and not pet that one. Um, and we don't really have enough space for another chicken right now. Uh, unless we want to sort of expand the farm. But uh, anyway, look, just getting into all of the normal stuff that we get into. Uh, just going to do all of the farming. And with our upgraded tools, hopefully the farming will be a lot easier. It's like we've got some tomatoes here to harvest. There we go. Alright, let's just gather all of these up. And yeah guys, so in terms of the stuff that we're going to get up to today, I figure it's been a while since we did a bit of a fishing day, so I think we're going to spend a little bit of time fishing, especially out in the ocean, because we haven't actually done that in a very long time, and if I remember correctly, the advice given to me is that the game sort of progresses once you get to one million dinks in the bank and uh, from what I understand someone can be found somewhere out in the ocean apparently so uh, we'll see if we can go exploring and see if we can uh, find whoever it is that might be visiting Wu Yan because yeah there are still a few people that have yet to be discovered right so Let's just quickly harvest all this wheat and we will need to replant the wheat over this side so we mustn't forget to do that before we leave. Um, let's see, let's keep watering this patch and the next one as well. Now we didn't end up getting too many pumpkins from the first uh, harvest did we so I'm not entirely sure if I've planted the pumpkins correctly um, as far as I recall there should be or you should be leaving space uh, adjacent to the main plant uh, at sort of each uh, side like north south east and west which I have done if I'm not mistaken so I'm not entirely sure why we're only getting like one, uh, you know, one one pumpkin. Uh, am I doing things right, guys, uh, or <laughs> or am I making a mistake here? But anyway, I'll uh, I'll leave things as they are for now. Uh, we do need to do the shearing and the milking, so let's just get that done right now. Uh, I don't know why I've got the aviator sunglasses with me. I think that was probably because I spent a bit of time deciding what I was going to wear for the next day. And uh, I may have uh, forgotten to put that away. Good stuff. And let's chuck 
this in the drop-off point as well. Haven't seen Spike. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, let's get him his breakfast. We are running out of fresh meat for him though, so might actually need to do a little bit of hunting at some point. Good boy. All right. Yeah, we definitely need a bit more meat here. Uh... I think we're almost done at the farm. We just need to do one last thing, which is replanting the wheat crops. So let's get that done right now. I think I want to split that and... Uh, I can't remember. I think we need 12, right? So if I just drop one more there, that should be enough. Uh, and I think we've got everything here. Let's just put a few things away. Um milking bucket as well and I'm just gonna very quickly leave our uh, sunglasses here there we go all right let's head into town and on the way we'll just do the replanting very quickly okay very good Right, oh, so, uh, stuff to do in town. We picked up a piece of amber the other day, so, um, whoa, sorry guys. There we go. Uh, we should speak to John about selling that. Ah, I see you've got a nice amber chunk there. Looks like it weighs around 2.2 kilograms. How does 39,000 dink sound? Not bad. Uh, should we sell anything else? Yes, we've got a couple of tiger moths from yesterday night. Welcome to John's Goods, how can I help? Let's sell these two to you. Um, you can take the billy button as well. I've been hanging on to that, uh, that bucket of paint, the blue paint. And uh, I figure I should actually use that today. Uh, copper pickaxe. Uh, we've got so many different tools here. I think maybe one of these days we should actually clear that out and sell everything to John. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I think we should use the blue paint on the jet ski today before we leave. Uh, I was wanting to just quickly uh, put one of the photos up here because we took the photo yesterday and we didn't really have a chance to actually put it up, so... That's one of our empty frames. Do you have a photo we could put up here? I sure do. Great, show me what you want to place here. Uh, we'll put this one up. Thank you, it looks great up here, doesn't it? All right, nice, uh, good photo of a beach there. And yeah, we've got a small photo of uh, Wu Yan with uh, John's shop in the background there. Uh, maybe one day we should actually replace that and maybe we should take a few more pictures around town to uh, hang up. But uh, anyway, let's just very quickly get a few things going in the workshop and uh, then we should get the, uh, the day started. Yeah, here's some plain normal cheese instead of the high quality one, which I don't think we've ever made before, so <laughs> that's a first. Uh, let's get some more wheat grinding and let's get the wool spinning Let's grab all of that and Yeah, we can put a few things away here. So eggs and oh Yeah, I forgot about the Wombi bank. We should actually put that somewhere at home but Let's put this away and this away as well okay looking good so now that we've done all the prep all that we need to do left is go out and start fishing so i'm gonna bring the hang glider with us as well and uh actually we've got a whole bunch of tomatoes here which we should drop off as well so let's do that um what a nice small source of uh uh, stamina, so maybe we'll cook up some Kwondongs. Uh, could probably eat one of the 
uh, quiches here. Actually, no. I think what's going to help us a little bit more is if we have some fish and chips. Because uh, that's going to boost some of our fishing ability, right? Maybe a couple of the fish and chips. And, uh, yeah, that'll hopefully let us catch fish a little bit more efficiently. I don't really know how it works because I've actually never tried it. But uh, anyway, let's go to the jet ski and we should set sail, if you will. Not that it has sails, but anyway. Whoa, sorry magpie. Didn't see you there. Okay, let's go. I have no idea where to find this, uh, this character. So, I'm sort of just going blindly to uh, a makeshift destination, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just explore around, do a bit of fishing, and uh, hope for the best. Ooh, sorry guys, I almost forgot, but uh, we do need to bring our handy dandy fish book, don't we? Uh, there it is, okay. And maybe we should actually keep the fish book in the toolbar, uh, or tool belt, rather, as uh, that'll help us actually identify a lot of things for us. Uh, and just checking to see if there's anything that we haven't seen around here. Uh, it looks like we have seen all of those fish before. So, yeah, hopefully we can find uh, something that we've never seen before. Can we actually see the stuff that is sort of deep in the water? Not exactly. So that yabby's not really coming up, but uh, that's okay. I'm also not entirely sure if we have actually found all of the things that we can get from like the the deep uh, waters. What is that? A bonny tongue. Silver perch. Uh, grayling. I think we've seen a grayling before. Anyway, let's head out and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head to the marker that we've set here. Got a couple of um, peculiar looking uh, patches of treasure here, which is sort of sitting underneath the water. Okay, not bad. All right, let's keep going. Am I even going the right way? Jeez, I don't think I am, but I think we should be able to cut through right here. Nice. All right, um, and yeah, we should actually keep a lookout for some more pearls. If we can find pearls, that would be nice. Ah, and maybe we should try and get some jellies as well. Anyway, let's see if we can get some stuff here. A bay bug. I think we have seen a bay bug before. More jellies here. They're a little bit deep. That's okay. Anything interesting here? Uh... The other thing is, if we have, or if we haven't seen a fish before, will we still be able to see the the names of these fish? Or would it come up as just like question marks or something? I'm not entirely sure how it works exactly. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, I think maybe... What we should do is just focus on catching some of the more expensive fish. The ones that are going to uh, attract a little bit more money. A black and white snapper. Okay. Uh, 
Actually, sorry guys, I totally forgot, but we should have one of our fish and chips here. Nice. Okay. Now we're ready. Uh, black and white snapper. Have we actually uh, handed one of those into the uh, the museum? Baku Grunter. A goat fish. Where can we find these? Southern Oceans. Okay. So we'll keep a lookout for that. Yeah, we've definitely taken one of those to Theo before. Okay, any goat fish around? Not really. That's okay, we'll keep going. And hopefully we'll find a goat fish somewhere. What's that? Tiger prawn. Yummy yummy. Got a few jellies here. Can we try and get them? That's a pretty big swordfish right there. Ooh, a marlin actually. Is it? There it is. Okay. Okay, that jelly has gone uh, quite deep there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Uh, where did that marlin go? There it is. Yeah, and uh, actually fetches 2,000 deep, so that's not too bad. I'll catch that one. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, that was very, very quick. Uh, <laughs> that uh, definitely helps out uh, having the, the fishing buff. Alright, uh, so we're here at the uh, makeshift goal. So why don't we just work our way further south. Uh, and yeah, just see if there's anything interesting out there. What is this? A king prawn. I'm not entirely sure we've seen a king prawn before. Just gonna see if we can get this one. Okay, very good. Uh, let's take a look at the pedia once more. Fish. Ah, uh, okay. So the stuff that you get underwater doesn't exactly show up here. Do they show up in the critters? Yeah, they do. King prawn, here we go. So that's brand new. We should take that to Theo. Um, but as I said before, we have seen a goatfish, but we haven't actually taken one to Theo yet. So if we find one, that'll be great. Bluefish. Uh, yeah, no goatfish, unfortunately. Let's see if we can keep going further. Where are we, by the way? Okay. Uh, yeah, everything's pretty common. Wonder if we can catch some of these jellies, or sorry, uh, kill some of these jellies. Yeah, it's so hard to actually get jellies efficiently, if you ask me. There you go. Another one just there. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just work our way around this island. And now, let's see. Hmm. No. No goat fish around. Now if I go out to the map edge and go further, can I still find fish out there? 
I'm not entirely sure actually. It's been a while since we've been to like the, the edges of the map actually. Let's see if we can grab some of these guys. Very good. Oops. Nice. And not sure what these fish are. Let's just take a quick look. Okay. All pretty common stuff. Um, yeah, since we're at the map edge, let's just quickly head out. And... Yeah, see if I use the book here. Yeah, definitely nothing out here. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go back. Um, Alright. So I think maybe we'll work our way... Um, maybe towards this island here. And see if we can try our luck around there to look for this goatfish. Or if we can find uh, the, uh, the random person that's supposed to be out here. Nothing. Uh, and I just realized, guys, but pressing spacebar actually lets you jump on this thing. I had no idea. Uh, does that also mean that you can jump using the, the bike as well? Possibly. Let me just quickly put down a marker here for that uh, pearl, because that'll be useful. We'll see if we can grab these two. Okay, very good. Yeah, really it is just uh, about timing things right when you're uh, trying to get those jellyfish. Okay, there's black and white snappers everywhere. An anchovy. I think we've seen an anchovy before, but uh, they're definitely worth catching here because they seem to be worth quite a lot of money. Very nice, okay. Yeah, having that buff really helps. I am probably wasting a little bit of it because I'm not actually doing, like, fishing intensely. Like, I'm not, like, catching all of the fish left, right, and center, but, uh... I think it's still useful, though. Jeez. There we go. Alright, they're, uh, more trouble than they're worth, I think. Uh, got a little bit of a janky, trippy situation going on here. Whoa. Uh, okay. This is kind of weird, guys. My jet ski is gone as well. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, James, um, there seems to be a problem here. James? Uh, okay. How do I... Uh, <laughs> mm. Okay, um, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem here because our jet ski is stuck in there and I definitely want to get my jet ski back because that was expensive. Let's see if we can jump in there. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is... Very, very strange, guys. The Definitely haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is not intended. 
But, uh... Anyway. I wonder if James is aware of this uh, issue. But, uh... Yeah, this is not the most pleasant, to be honest. Can we try to actually walk in there by maybe just leveling out the, the soil here? Ooh, okay, something happened there. Um, let's just keep doing this for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay guys, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to walk in there. Can I actually, I can't even dive there. Oh, okay, there we are. Um, but the problem is I'm not going to be able to get my jet ski out. Oh man, this is horrible. Come on. There we go. Oh. Are, are you... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. It's further down there, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh... <laughs> um... Okay, guys, uh, really weird stuff going on there. Uh, I might actually just quickly put, uh, the, the death trap marker there, uh, because I do not want to experience that anymore. <laughs> so, we will, we will avoid that area at all costs, um, until we, uh, we see an update fix it, at the very least. Oh, man. What a day. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still 9 o'clock though, so we could probably still spend a little bit more time out here. But uh, that was unexpected. We definitely spent a lot of time just trying to retrieve our jet ski there, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we can get this anchovy. Come on, give me another 5,000 dink, thank you very much. Alright, very good. And yeah, we spent quite a lot of that time actually, uh, well, not the time actually, quite a lot of our stamina just trying to re retrieve the, uh, the jet ski, which is a bit frustrating. Tons of anchovies out here, actually. Um, but no goatfish. Let's try and catch some more anchovies if we can. Yes, yes. Come on. Very good. And I think there's some more, right? I think that's an anchovy right there. Doesn't seem to be interested. Oh, actually. Okay, very good. Uh, you know what? One thing that I haven't actually looked at is whether or not we can get an iron fishing rod. Um, I assume it just improves the durability though, so it doesn't really improve anything else. Again, making assumptions. 
Or maybe, maybe it helps you reel the fish in a little bit quicker. Potentially. Okay, more anchovies. Bluefish. Um, let's maybe catch one more anchovy. Actually not seeing it over there. There it is. Come on, dude. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Where should we go? Maybe. Just gonna work our way back to the marker. I haven't really seen a lot of pearls around this side of the ocean, to be honest. Which is a bit of a surprise. And yeah, I think maybe we'll just explore around these islands for just a tiny bit. Might be able to grab that jelly. Okay. Didn't time that right. There we go. Very nice. Ah, yeah, and uh, we're still looking for the goat fish, aren't we? 11 o'clock. Okay. So it's almost quitting time. Nothing to see here. Unless we want to capture some more anchovies. Ooh, what is that? Okay, so it does seem like the uh, the book actually gives you or tells you uh, Oh, that was a bit weird guys. I was sort of stuck in place there for a second. My lord, today has been just nothing but jank. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a janky kind of day. Um, let's see if we can capture whatever this thing is. Is is that even the right fish? I'm not entirely sure. I caught a blobfish. Is is that the right one? I think we've actually um, had like a. I mean, we didn't capture the blobfish ourselves, but I think we caught a blobfish once. Uh, sorry, not caught. We we uh, retrieved one from the recycling bin. As funny as that sounds. <laughs> um, Alright, well, I think that was the mystery fish, though. So, uh, we can say that we've added that to our collection, if you will. Um... I'm just going to very quickly look at the pedia on that blobfish because I am pretty sure we have already given that to Flank Franklin. Jesus. The words are not coming out of my ma uh, my mouth, guys. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, well, unfortunately we didn't find that goatfish, but we did find the blobfish accidentally. So, uh, it's a good trade-off. And we had a really fun time dealing with janky stuff happening in the game. So uh, that was pleasant. But I think it's about time that we call this a day. So let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe one of these days we should actually build a whole bunch of bridges that can reach some of these inaccessible uh, sections of... Uh, the countryside. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do all of that just yet, but uh, 
someone was saying, you know, maybe it might be a good idea to try and connect the mainland to the big island that has the uh, western tower. And that doesn't sound like a bad idea, to be honest. But um, it's going to require a lot of effort, though. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I'm quite mentally prepared for that, but uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. So today wasn't a bad day, uh, but the jankiness was uh, a bit stressful. Do we want to just maybe take a bit of a shortcut here and carry that with us and maybe we'll use the uh, teleport tower. Alright, so we can teleport there. And now, just need to place the boat right here. And we should get home in no time. What a day. <laughs> Actually, we didn't get to do any hunting, did we? I just realized that. We are going to start running out of meat sometime soon. Maybe we can just take a little bit more from the uh, from the workshop. But uh, anyway, interesting day, guys. Uh, gotta admit, I thought we would be a little bit more productive than that. But uh, we did catch a ton of anchovies, so we should be able to make a little bit of money tomorrow when we speak to John. Uh, and yeah, we discovered, well, not really discovered, but we captured our very own blobfish, which is good. Uh, but aside from that, we still haven't really discovered any mystery person out in the ocean or anything like that. So, uh, I think we're going to have to come back to some more fishing at some point very soon. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.